Hi there, Alberto Savoia back here with you today for a bonus lesson in my series Savoia's Simple Math of Success for Product uh, Management. You've noticed I changed this title from Product Managers to Product Management because many people have listened to the series and said, well, I'm not technically a product manager, but I manage my product. I'm, a, I'm in a startup. There's two of us. We decide what to build. So clearly the ideas in here apply to anybody doing product management, trying to decide what products to build. Now, boy, did I get a lot of feedback from lesson number four. Uh, I told you before doing that lesson on how to calculate the <laughs> probability given data uh, that I was a little scared because it was a little bit of, of, of math. So what happened there is a small percentage of people, they loved the math. They said, why doesn't everybody teach this? You know, this is fantastic. But the majority of people came back and said, boy, that was hard. I had to watch it uh, two or three times to get it and I'm not sure I get it yet. Well, that's why I'm repeating it, uh, repeating this lesson. It is really not that hard, but uh, you know, it may take more than watching for 10 minutes to get it. You know, how many, uh, how many things did you learn that are really valuable in just uh, 10 minutes? So that's what I want to focus on, on the, on the hard part. And so this is a bonus lesson. There is no math involved here. So don't, don't be afraid, just take a little break uh, from the lessons. But this lesson is product management, soft skills versus hard skill. And the, the reason I want to explain this is because it puts all the work that I do, everything I'm trying to teach you into the proper context. All right, uh, you've probably heard these expressions before, you know, soft skills, hard skills. They apply to, to any profession. Now, if a, a doctor can have soft skills and hard skills, you know, bedside manner and, I don't know, surgical uh, ability. So in the context of product management, uh, this is an example of what I consider to be soft skill. So uh, EQ, emotional quotient, uh, empathy, which they kind of go together, you know, trying to understand what the problem is, what people want, what the market wants. Uh, some intuition, again, that comes part, I have a feeling for the market. Optimism, uh, they tend to be optimistic that they, 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 they believe that what they are coming up with will succeed in the market. Uh, creativity, very creative, come with a, a mile a minute ideas. Very good communication skills. Uh, soft skills. They're good at listening, taking it in. They're also good at communicating. So there's a lot of back and forth. Uh, persuasion, collaboration uh, uh, skill. You know, they, they can work with people, they can be persuaded, they can persuade others. They, they tend to be collaborative, friendly, trusting, uh, and flexible, right? So they're, they're, uh, these are kind of the, the, the soft skill. Basically, fun people to, to be around and uh, to work with, right? V very good social skill. Now, for the hard skills, well, as you might expect, you know, I, uh, this is not a complete list by, by any means. Uh, math and logic, you know, these are people that put a lot of trust in math and logic more than on people and feeling and, uh, and intuition. Uh, they believe that data beats opinion. Right. You can tell me what you think, but you know, I, wanna, I want to see the data, I want to see some skin in the game. Don't tell me what you will do, I want to see you doing it. So they're very skeptical uh, in that. They're empirical, they want to test things. Right. So they believe that uh, the best way to approach a problem is to start with a hypothesis and to test that hypothesis. Uh, they're rigorous. They, when it comes to data, they're not very flexible. Right, because you cannot move the data around and say, well, no, this is actually not that bad. They tend to be pretty rigorous, uh, skeptical, sometimes to the point of pessimism. Why are they pessimists? Because they're ba their work is based on data the way they think is based on data. And when it comes to uh, bringing new products to market, they know that the odds are against it. Most new ideas will fail in the market. So this is just you know, by no means uh, meant to be complete uh, list, but just to give you an idea of what I mean by soft and hard skills. All right, so there are soft skills, there are hard skills. Maybe I'm better off here. Uh, so people, let's break them down. Uh, people that do product management, they can come into four uh, categories uh, based on soft skill and hard skills. So there are those that are weak in soft skills and weak in hard skill. So maybe they're not very friendly, they're not very 
flexible and yet they don't like uh, math. These are people that are usually clueless yet opinionated. Uh, so this this first category. The second categories are people who have strong skills, but uh, strong soft skills, but weak hard skills. Uh, so they're very good on this part, very good creative optimists, uh, optimist, creative, they communicate well, uh, they, they tend to trust the market, but they're not very good with, the, with these hard skills. And then there are those who are weak in the soft skills and very strong in the hard skill. I'm sure you've all worked with some of them. These are people that just are very, they're very data uh, driven, they don't care what people think, they don't care about intuition, they say just show me the numbers. Uh, and finally, there are people that are strong both in soft skills and uh, in hard skill. Again, a generalization, but uh, I'm sure that if you've been in, in business long enough, if you either are a product manager, uh, you work with product managers, in fact, you work with most human beings, you realize that this is one way of, um, of looking at where they fall in a, in a spectrum in the soft versus hard scale. So, uh, by the way, I, I, I forgot to mention this right. So, warning, I, I believe in data, I believe in getting your own data. What I'm telling you today is a bonus lesson, so it's not a part of that, is based on my personal experience, my own data, right? So, you know, if you don't agree, if your experience is different, well, more power uh, uh, to you. However, I've had this discussion with many, many people and they tend to agree with this um, uh, assessment. So it's my personal experience, but it's a heck of a lot of personal experience. I may not look it, but I've been in this business for about, I mean, building and launching and designing and developing products for about 30 years in very large companies like Google and Sun Microsystem in the early days. In my own startups, I work with a lot of product manager, managers. So. Uh, yeah, it's my personal experience, it's my personal uh, uh, data, but it's a lot. So I think it's, and there's something that you might extract from it. So let's go back to it. So uh, this is what we have, combination of soft and hard skills. So let's look at the percentage of people, again, based on my experience in each of these categories. Now, are there people in product manager that are weak, both in terms of soft skills and hard skill? Yes, fortunately, there is an all, not a lot of them. Why? Because usually they get weeded out uh, <laughs> of the market. They don't last long. But uh, I think you've probably worked with some of these people, right? They're uh, clueless yet uh, opinionated. And so it's about 10% of them. What is the success rate for people that are both weak in soft and hard skill? Well, it's not zero, right? But it's luck based. So I would say somewhere less than 10%. Uh, I've worked with some of the uh, some of these uh, people, you know, very very weak in both of the skills, but somehow they were working on a product that turned out to be an incredible success, and so that can happen. But most of the time, when I'm dealing with people like this, they don't listen to the market, they don't listen to number, they just listen to their own opinions and belief, and they will not take any input. So most of the time, not surprisingly, they do uh, fail. Then there's a second category, people with strong soft skills and uh, not so strong uh, hard skills. I believe that this represents about 70% of, uh, give or take, of the product managers. Why? Because that's the kind of profession, that's the kind of uh, job that they are attracted to. Right? Uh, people with a lot of hard skills usually want to be you know, in engineers, uh, computer uh, uh, scientists. So people that go into product management and uh, are successful and enjoy it, usually are very strong in soft skills and weaker uh, in hard skill. Do not be offended, okay? Maybe you're not in this uh, category. But anyway, we're gonna fix it. Uh, so about 70%, what is the success rate for uh, people with this combination of skills? Well, uh, not surprisingly, it's about 20%, which is what the, the success rate of most new products, right? 80% failure rate, about 20% uh, success rate. So this is par for the course, which makes sense because that's what most of these, uh, uh, most product managers uh, uh, are. Then we come to the third category. These are people that are weak in soft skills and strong in hard skill. 
uh, as we described, these are people that are now very, very, very empirical, very math oriented, very number oriented. They don't take any BS from anybody. Show me the data, show me the experiments. The experiment is valid, uh, not valid. These are pretty rare, I would say about 10%. Uh, and, uh, but their success rate is higher. So if, you, if you're working with somebody who doesn't have the greatest personal skills, you know, the main of greatest soft skill, right? They may not be easy to work with, but usually they are, they're, they're more successful than people that lack the strong skill. Why? Because off the bat, they are more skeptical. They're a little bit more pessimist. They say, well, you know, probably it's not going to work. So they, they force you to test yourself. They force you to test the idea to be empirical, to use data. And when you do that, you cannot uh, but, uh, you know, reduce the, the rate of failure because you're getting actual market data. You're using numbers instead of opinions, intuition, so on and so forth. So their success rate, uh, in my experience, is about uh, 40%. Again, these numbers, you know, take, take them all with a grain of salt in their general direction. And then there are, there are a few that uh, in product management that have both strong soft skill and strong hard skill. So these people are very easy to work with. They're, 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 they're friendly, they're personable. They listen to you in the creative phase of uh, product development where, where they're trying to decide what to build. They're very open-minded, very creative. They can be persuasive, they, they, they are flexible, but when it comes to validating the market, they kind of they flip the switch and they have this ability to invoke their hard skill and be brutally honest and analytical with the market data. So this is a, this is a great combination, right? This is what you want, uh, this is what you want to have. So let's talk about what, what are we to do with this? So where do you fall in in the spectrum and what can happen? Uh, so if you're weak in soft skills and hard skill, uh, my recommendation is gently direct yourself or someone that you're working with to a different career or a different company. Uh, this, is not, uh, this is not the job for you. Uh, if you have people that, are, uh, that have strong soft skill and they're not very strong in hard skills, well, teach them this simple hard skill. There's huge potential here. And guess what? That is precisely what I'm doing. Why am I doing this? Because I have the biggest impact. The majority of people in product management fall into this category, uh, as evidenced by the fact that a lot of people have trouble following this, you know, that they, they, they do not like them. The very strong soft skill, they can be very, very successful, but they're not very strong in the hard skill. So the whole purpose of this series simple math is to go take you from this category to the strong, strong category. And that's why it's worthwhile putting up with, uh, with these uh, lessons. And I hope uh, you will agree. Finally, if you have people that are strong and strong, rare, few in between, there are about 10% of the market, maybe less, I would say probably sing single digit, but you know what? Their success rate is astounding. When you combine soft skills with hard skill, you get the best of both worlds. Uh, now, this is not a natural thing for most people, but as I've described, described you can take somebody that has great personal, interpersonal uh, soft skills, teach them a little math as you're learning in these courses, a little logic, and you can move them in this category. However, you cannot do the same. It's very hard to take somebody that has uh, weak, soft skill and teach them to be much more friendly and empathic and creative and, uh, and optimistic. At least my personal track record has been uh, not very successful. So this is what you want to be. This is who you want to hire if you're hiring product managers. This is who you, where you want to be if you are a product manager. If you are lucky to be one of these or to work with one of these, just love them. Ask them if they have sibling to, uh, to, uh, uh, to join you. And if you're not, in this category, if you stick with me through these lessons, uh, I can promise you I'm going to take this part and just with a little bit of math that I promise you does not involve anything more complicated than addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Okay, and percentages, which, has, which are a form of division. It is that simple. So again, I'm sorry 
if lesson four was a little hard, uh, in lesson five we'll clarify, you'll see that the payoff is huge. And if you stick with me, you're going to end up in this category, which is where you want to be. And these are, these are the people that I would want to be on my team if I had product manage, managers. So I hope you like this series. Uh, if you do, show me some loving, give me some feedback, share these videos, give me uh, comments, and I'll see you for lesson number five. This has been a bonus lesson. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Thank you.